Hi everyone, welcome back to Capture This or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Wicked the Broadway Musical. So, let's get started. So, obviously from the intro, today I'm going to be reviewing Wicked. So, Wicked is a story of the Wicked Witch of the East, Alphaba, and Glinda the Good Witch. Glinda. Basically, it just explores their friendship when they went to school at Shiz University together, and just their pathways to their destiny. It also includes some characters from Wizard of Oz that you might know, such as the Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Cowardly Lion. These are all basically just explored a lot more in depth, and you kind of get a backstory for each of these characters, which is really nice. Like most musicals, there are complications between the protagonist, protagonist and the love interest. So, in this case, Fiero, who ends up being the Scarecrow later on, spoiler alert, is the love interest for both Elphaba and Glinda. It's like a love, love triangle. Basically, Glinda and Fiero start out the musical together, and they're just like, we deserve each other, and dancing through life, and basically just Fiero comes out as this, like, charming, charismatic schoolboy. Well, later on, sparks begin to fly between Elphaba and Fiero, but Elphaba doesn't think Fiero could ever love her because she's green. The original Broadway cast stars Christian Chenoweth as Glinda and Adina Menzel as Elphaba. You may recognize her as Elsa. Also, one super cool thing about Wicked is that a lot of the people that were Glinda, Elphaba, Fiero, even the wizard, went on to do really cool stuff later on. Some examples of this are Carol Lindsay, she was a Glinda, and before she was Glinda, she was actually Catherine and Newsies. Also, Ariel Jacobs, she was Nessa Rose, and she was Jasmine in the Australian production, and then later Broadway. The costumes in the show are also so phenomenal. They basically use every shade of green that was, like, ever created, but they do it in a really, like, good way so it doesn't look weird on stage. The Ozzy and outfits are, like, out of this world. They have, like, so many different frills, laces, there's umbrellas, there's hats. Another thing that's super spectacular about the show is the music. So, obviously, it's a musical, so there's music, but the music in the show is actually surprisingly long. Dancing Through Life is about seven minutes. However, these songs don't feel like they're being, like, stretched out in any way. There's just a ton of dance breaks throughout most of the songs that help move along. I never really felt bored listening to any of these songs over and over and over again, like a true theater kid. In 2004, Wicked was nominated for like a whole bunch of Tony Awards. I could list them, but then this video would be like two minutes longer. So, um, yeah, let's skip to the writing. The writing in the show is so impressive, and the writers did an amazing job making a prequel to The Wizard of Oz. It was super creative how they tied in, like, the pre-stories to how the Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Cowardly Lion came to be, while still mainly focusing around Glinda and Elphaba. So, that's my review on Wicked the Musical. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below any other musicals you'd like to see me review, and I will see you in our next video. Bye!